Yo, right there, lads. It's Mr. FIFA Gaming 95 here, back with episode 5 of Chasing the Champion. So, I'll get into the players that we bought here. I see we've got 177k, so I didn't spend all my money. Spent about 600k. So, we've got, so got an Infarm Majewski for 15,000. So we're opening at about 22 to 23k for him. So, I'm going to put him up for 22,000 start. 23,500. But now I'm going to put it on for six hours. And then I picked up a team here, Company, who I do want in my team. I picked him up for 248. And I'm, I'm going to try, if I can get, to, I'm going to get about 265 to 270, because that's what he sells for. If I can get that for him, I'll sell him and then buy him back later on, because it's a big chunk of my money to spend just to have wasted, sitting in a way that I could be using to trade. Like with that 260, I could make an extra 10, 15k every episode at least. So I'm going to put him on for 265 or 263. And two six eight and OP sells for that. If he sells for that, I'll make fifteen k profit. Then we've got a man of the match, Orange Gerard, centre mid, bought for one hundred and sixty five k. I'm hoping to get about one hundred eighty three to one hundred eighty five k on him. Maybe push it a bit more for the first time. I'm just gonna put one hundred eighty six k back in now on. So hopefully I can get that far in. I'm not too sure yet, but hopefully. Just put him on for six hours again. Then we've got Danny centre mid, four three two one, bought for three point eight k. Hoping to get about six point five k for him. Then we've got Mario Goetzer, 5-2-1-2 centimetre, bought for 3k, hoping to get about 5.5k for him. I've got quite a few of these centimetre deals again, lads. So I've got another 4 3 2 1 Danny, this time for 4k again, hope to get 6.5k for him. Then we have a Diego, bought for 2.8k and 3 4 one, two. obviously centimetre again, hoping to get about 6,000 coins for him. Then we have another team here player, we've got Matthias Suarez, he's using a CAM equipment striker here, buying for 30k, hoping to get about 36k for him. Then we've got a Carlos Eduardo bought for 2.8. Okay, sent him mid 3, 4, 1, 2, and we get 5,000 for him just because he's a poor formation. Then we've got a Neto, 3, 5, 2 from Fiorentina for 700. Hoping to get about 3,500 for him. Then we've got Alonso, who's usually a CDM in centre mid 4, 3, 2, 1, bought for 2.6k. Hoping to get 5,000 him, double my money. Really good on the silver, doubling your money. And then we have Cameron Jerome, centre forward, 4 4 1 1 bar for 24,750. Hoping to get about 32 to 34,000 for him. Well, 33,000, yeah. Let's put him on for that. Then we got a Perez, bar for 600 in 4 5 1. Got for 600, so hopefully get about 1200 for him. Then we have a Duarte, 4 3 3, centre taking mid, bar for 1.3k. Hoping to get 2.5 to 3k for him. So we put them out 2.85 by now. And then we've got a Powell, 3, 4, 1, 2, bought for 7.50. And we get about 2k, 2.5k for him. So I'm going to put all these players up. I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell them. I'll be back once you've all sold. So I'll see you then. Back now, lads. And as you can see, all the players have sold. I think apart from one, I've got 722,000 coins. So about 730 because I've already picked up two players for the next episode. The first player we had was. The Infarm Majewski sold for 22250 which is about 5.5, 6k profit. Then we have the Team Company sold for the 268k, which is about nearly 14, 13, 14k profit. Gerard sold for 182 which is only about 5, 6k profit, but it'll do. Every profit counts, lads, you got to remember that. It doesn't matter how big it is, just always trying to make profit. No point always looking for the big 30, 40k deal, that's because it doesn't usually come. It's better to get more little deals, I remember that. Then the Danny, one of the first Danny sold for 6,500. Mario Goethe sold for 5.7k. The other, the other Danny again sold for 6.5k. Diego sold for 6k on the buy now that I wanted. Tess Wilder sold for his first buy it now for 36,500. No, 36,000. Carter sold for 5k again, first buy it now. Neto sold for him, he sold within like the first 10 minutes, or so maybe I could have pushed 4,000 for him, but do not matter, I just wanted to get Sam, because he wasn't a great farm agent, but it's been changed now to 4231. Alonso again sold for his overnight by an hour, 5,000 coins. Cam Jerome the same, he sold quite quickly as well, but I don't think I could have pushed that much more. I think it was because he was the only centre forward on the market, so, and this person's obviously converted him to a centre attacking mid, so it was obviously best to buy in a centre forward, so he was only one position card. He sold for 32,500 in the end. And Duarte sold for 2.8k. Powell sold for 2.5k. And Perez. Oh, I don't know where Perez has gone. Hmm. Perez has gone somewhere, but Perez is still up for a thousand, and them two just the next episode. I'll show you next time. So, lads, hope you enjoyed this episode. You can leave a like and subscribe. 
don't forget to check out my giveaway which is the which is on my channel for PS3 users 25k giveaway and the, how to enter and have a chance of winning are on the video so go and check that out lads and I'll see you again next time for episode 6 of Trading to the Champions see you now